One thing you gotta know about me is that I accept pretty bad films. Um, a lot of bad films from last year I do accept, like Project X and 21 and Over this year and Grown Ups. Just some pretty movies that are viewed pretty bad. And a lot of people hate them, like Bucky Larson. I enjoy, really do enjoy these movies. So, um, one of the movies that I did, like I said, was Grown Ups. Grown Ups was really funny in my opinion. A great heartwarming movie, just a great cast, and just an all around just a really fun movie. So Grown Ups 2 comes out now, and you know, I'm looking forward to it. I really love the first one, so you know, it's, it looks like it's going to be a good time. You got a great new cast, um, everybody returning except for Rob Schneider, and you got Shaquille O'Neal in there, and Nick Swardson, Andy Samberg, T Taylor Lautner. So it does seem like it's a really good movie with all this great cast. And Grown Ups 2 is a movie that I cannot accept as um, a bad movie that I really did enjoy, and I, I cannot accept this. First off, let's talk about the plot. What is the plot to the movie? It, that's what I'm left with at the, when after the movie. What is the plot to this movie? I have a hard time figuring out what the plot of this movie, and made me realize that they're mo money hungry for this movie. The first one did good. Second one does uh, good now. They're just money money hungry. This movie literally felt like a straight to DVD movie. There there was no plot. It was just them throughout the day um, running errands. Um, Lenny, played by Adam Sandler, uh, moved back to his hometown now, and he lives close to Chris Rock and Kevin James and um, David Spade. So he's it's good. He's having a good time, and he's happy now. He's a stay at home dad and, with his children. So, yeah, that might be the plot, but it's not the plot. It's just, it really shows him kind of throughout the day just doing things that start off the summer. Um, there's him going to Kmart for no apparent reason, um, jumping off the cliffs, going to ballet recitals, buying ice cream. So there's a lot of shit in the movie that is pointless and the whole movie literally is pointless. Um, the other thing I really hate about this movie is how fart jokes it is and like all the fart jokes, all the silly dumb humor there is in this movie and it just, I know the first one was that but the first one did it so well and um, this one is just stupid. There's like literally Kevin James sneezing, farting, and burping at the same time and everyone in the crowd is like, oh, that's so fucking funny. Oh my god, it's hilarious. It is dumb. The whole movie is, is like that. Um, what I did like about the movie is that they had a great um, cameo cast um, with Andy Samberg, the whole cast of SNL pretty much, um, Lonely Island, all of um, Adam Sandler's previous friends from like his previous movies, um, Shaquille O'Neal, Nick Swardson, um, so there's a lot of people, Steve Austin, Stone Cold Steve Austin, there's a lot of people in this movie. And they bring back all the kids, and as they're grown up now, they bring back the older cast. Um, another bad thing about the movie is that they tried to put on morals of family and um, forgetting your past and moving on and everything. Kind of like they did in the first one, um, you know, at the end when he's playing basketball with his son trying to teach him a lesson and so they try to teach lessons in this movie and it does not work at all in this movie um, they didn't handle the morals and values um, very good so the movie all of this movie is just really bad they didn't rip on each other like they did in the first one which was a disappointing because that's where I found this, this stuff funny they ripped on like other people and just like the whole movie had the vibe of a straight to DVD look that I think it was like the camera lighting or angles or something it just literally felt like a straight to DVD movie and I could not get into this movie at all um, as I love Adam Sandler he is um, hilarious in my eyes um, not so much recently like Jack and Jill but um, David Spade wasn't in that much uh, Chris Rock was pretty good Kevin James was more sillier than ever in this movie and it was just pretty bad um, so no plot for this movie straight to DVD look um, stupid funny stupid fart jokes that they use constantly bad morals values uh, handling 
badly. Uh, Dennis Dugan making another crap movie. So overall this movie was really, really, really bad. And Nick Swarzen wasn't used to the what I wanted him to be. Nick Swarzen is hilarious and he wasn't used properly. He was used as like a drunk, druggy kind of person. Um, so if I had to give it a, out of five, which I don't ever, don't ever do, but I want to tell you guys how bad this was. If I had to give it a, out of five, I would give it a 0.5 out of five. Yes, 0.5 out of five. That's how bad this movie was. No plot, which the, no plot was the biggest thing. It, my people might view it as like they were getting ready for this 80s theme party at the end, but everything in the leading up to it was not necessary, and it was just a movie that they just tried to make like a sequel, like let's make this movie again to make more money. That's literally what this movie was. I hope to God they don't make a third one. So this is my little rant review kind of of Grown Ups 2, which it beat Pacific Rim, really, Pacific Rim, which was awesome. And I went to the showing of Pacific Rim and it was like 15 people in there and the whole theater was packed out for Grown Ups 2. What is America coming to, guys? I'm sorry, Pacific Rim, you deserve much more. So this is my review for Grown Ups 2. Hate it. Tell me what you guys thought about it. You know, people are actually saying on IMDb that they love this movie and it's funnier than This Is The End. Why? 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 Here's my review for Grumps 2, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.